My name is Dr. Mitchell Joachim, and I'm uh, I guess head of research at Terraform One here in Brooklyn, New York. My name is Narayan Gokhtar. I'm the director of innovation here at Terraform One. My name is Manjula, and I'm interning at Terraform One during my development as an architect and designer. My name is Ahmed. I'm from Pakistan, and uh, this is my first internship that I've done in America. And it's interesting to work at Terraform One because what it provides is a world view of how world challenges can be approached uh, together. What we produce is a kind of a dramatic representation inspired by Buckminster Fuller that kind of shows the entire earth with all of the different cities working almost in unison as they change in population growth. Ideally, a piece of art and a piece of sculpture as it's also tackling critical issues. An installation which takes everyday data that we have around us and converts it into something that we can all look at. On the front side of the wall, we'll see the kind of the parametric models expressing the rate of change over a hundred years as we get to a city, essentially a city as one world of 11 billion people. How is this expressed? and what is the expression. So we've got a global scale and microscopic scale collapsing simultaneously together in one informatic project. Somehow intrigue the viewer into looking at this in a way that is beautiful and poetic. And we can start to develop a collective vision as to how we want our cities to grow and what we want our roles to be in this growth. While we're working uh, with computers and GIS data to produce a project like this, we're also working with E. coli and looking at cell growth uh, in city maps on petri dishes. And on the reverse of this wall, we'll see individual focal points of different cities from Jakarta to Shanghai to New York that'll show in that petri dish growth of that particular city on a much different scale, the microscopic scale. Originally coming from Karachi, which is actually one of the 25 cities labeled in the map and the project that we're doing, uh, helps me to understand how the rest of the 25 cities in different parts of the world are facing similar problems. Buckminster Fuller imagined all of the nations on Earth coming together to solve big problems. One of the biggest ones he was looking at was this, this map, the Dymaxion map, of the energy solution for the world. With most of the 25 cities probably originate from uh, many developing nations around the world. So this is a map showing the populations and where we're going to need most of that energy in specific locales. What this can help in is understand how cities such as Karachi in Pakistan can develop into a modern city where facilities are equally provided for everyone. The Earth wouldn't know any ownership of energy. The infrastructure would switch the systems of power between different nations freely between their borders. And working on this project has helped me understand uh, the wider scope of what I would want to do in the future. How I can help back home in my country, how I can help newly rising urban centers to develop into more functional and proper cities where there's an even distribution of living standards between all the classes. And we think this is great. The idea that you can power the world just by the sun, and if the sun went out, you can use geothermal, hydro, biomass, etc., to take up or compensate for the difference, and that nations wouldn't see uh, a reason to kind of hold it for themselves, but would harness it and spread it, I think is a fantastic idea. So we have Buckminster Fuller to thank for helping us visualize at this scale, the scale of the Earth.